Welcome to NAB Show 2023. Um, I'm Lisa Collins, and today I'm talking to Brian Bedford, who is head of IOT, IOT and verticals at Cisco. Brian, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, Brian, Cisco has um, a major driver in the transition from traditional SDI to IP for broadcasters and content providers. Can you share a bit more about Cisco's IP fabric for media and how your solution is helping drive the transition in the industry? Yeah, so. In uh, 2016, we launched our Cisco IP Fabric for Media Solutions. It really leverages our uh, Nexus product line, our UCS product line, and um, our what we call Nexus Dashboard Fabric Controller. It's our orchestration uh, and API platform. And um, since that time, you know, we've had a, we've had, like I said, hundreds of deployments worldwide now. So it's really cool. We're really innovating at a very fast clip right now, kind of far pacing what we see in the industry uh, from a network switching infrastructure. We've built a bunch of different partner integrations. I'll probably speak more about that in a little bit, but it's been really cool to kind of see the adoption, showing people that workflows in an IP world can feel and look different, but the same, right? And we can kind of have the top layer from a broadcast perspective, kind of continue to do the things that it does from a controller standpoint but then have the peace of mind to the industry that Cisco's got your back and that we've, we're innovating now at such a fast clip that we're giving maximum flexibility, software innovation. We're doing things around non-blocking multicast. We're doing things around um, multicast flow enhancements now that a lot of people haven't seen. We have network switching that supports 400 gig and 800 gig switches. So there's a bunch of really cool things that, you know, that's what people are really coming by our booth to really talk about is what are you doing? What, you know, and how does that compare? And how are you guys going so fast compared to the competition right now? So they're seeing a, you know, a commitment to innovation. They're seeing a commitment to flexibility and, uh, and they're seeing a commitment to the industry from a partnership perspective. So um, we're trying to do our part to kind of advance the industry. So it's been fun. Excellent. You talked about those partner integrations. Yep. Can you talk us through who you're working with and what you might be doing together? Yeah, so there's really not a, uh, let's say, a broadcast controller or workflow orchestration player that we don't have a par partnership with or they've not built a use case or they've not deployed it right now. So you could go down the list, and I'll probably miss some, but I'll just try, you know, from Grass Valley to Imagine to Sony to Nevion to Data Miner to, you know, you just name it, right? We've got relationships with all of those players. We've got projects with each and every one of them right now, and we're seeing some really cool innovation outside of those vendors. But we're also seeing innovation with other players in the industry that are looking for anything, you know, as far as how they can change workflows. Our, our friends at NEP have built what they call uh, TFC, Total Facility Control. That's all based off of Cisco, right? And they're building innovation uh, into their workflows to try to help transform and change the industry. So those partnerships are really, really cool. The other part is you're seeing the other, the, the, the content providers, the managed service providers, the systems integrators here that work in this industry. We want to make sure we're also a good partner to those people as well. So as we change skill sets in the industry to more IP focused and IT focused, right? We've got to do our job to make sure that we've got training and enablement and content so that we can equip them. So we've got a big task in front of us to help try to move the industry forward, but we're prepared for the challenge. It's a fun one. Excellent. And I'm guessing your customers um, are really open to those partnerships um, in, in terms of their, their yeah. strategic. Yeah. I mean, listen, we can't do it by ourselves. I mean, we don't build cameras. We don't build broadcast infrastructure. That's not what we do. We know our place in the industry, but we can help the industry because we know IT and IP. And so let us help you. We're, there's a reason why we're number one in networking in the world. We have you know, billions of dollars of research and development. We can take that into this space and show you. That's why right now, the feedback we're getting from the industry is, Cisco, your, your um, technology advancement and your innovation on the software development with Network Fabric uh, Dashboard Controller, you're far pay outpacing the competition right now. And so that's what we've got to continue to show people because that innovation at that software layer is what the broadcast industry is integrating with. So let us do our part to help you guys do all the really cool and innovative workflows. And so that's really fun to see. But yeah, our customers obviously want to know how are you working with partners and what does that look like and do you have an ecosystem to support that workflow? So that's been really cool. Excellent. Well, thank you for joining me yeah. today and I wish you all the best for the rest of the thank show. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you. Thank you.